Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, this is the, really the first video where I'm going to show you how to use Windows Server 2022 to set up your own Windows Server Active Directory uh, infrastructure. And I would like to use the Windows Server 2022 for this series of videos because it is the latest one, right? So if you do a Google search on download Windows Server 2022, you should land to this page and I'm going to give this link in my video as part of the YouTube comments or description so what you need to do when you come here you just have to fill out some information and then download you will have the evaluation available for 180 days now there there will be multiple options for you to download like VHD ISO whether you want to use it on Azure I just said I just need the good old ISO version of it and I just fill out my information and Windows let me download or Microsoft let me download that ISO file. And if I look at the file, this is the file that I just got that downloaded and it's about 5.2 gigabits. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I would like you to do uh, on this one, there should be a system requirement. So look at that one, make sure that you have at least some basic understanding of the processor requirement. And that is 1.4 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz, 64-bit processor. And for the RAM, you need at least 512 for the Windows Core installation, meaning there is no GUI. And then at least 2 gigs if you want the desktop experience installation option. That means you have the GUI available to you. Uh, and for the storage, the bare minimum would be 32 gigs. But I would recommend if you're creating your lab environment, just maybe go with double of that amount so go with the 64 gigs uh, that's the bare minimum that you have to know uh, then going back over here there's another link that I would like you to review and that is this one the Git solution brief so that's just briefly going to tell you some important features of Windows Server 2022 if you open it up and uh, look at this you'll see that Windows Server 2019 it was the fastest adopted Windows Server okay so Windows Server 2022 enhances that feature all those features that you had on Windows Server 2019 it just improves on it and every time Microsoft releases a new version they added a lot of security okay so if you look at this you will see the security is reflected many 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 times if I do a security and search for it here is security there is security, there is security, advanced multi layer security, security, security. So, security is a big, big aspect, okay? So, read through this and understand what it can do. So, here, secure, secure connectivity to business critical assets, secure core server. Then, uh, your on prem, you can use an upgrade uh, 2022 from any previous version. You can use it on the Azure, you can use it in a hybrid environment. Uh, using even as you arc okay so just have a basic understanding and a kind of what it will let you to do uh, just read through the brief now with that uh, I have this ISO already installed so I can get started with my Kudal Oracle VM where I can create okay a new virtual machine with this particular version of the Windows Server installed now to do that what do we need to do? We need to come uh, to our machine. So click on tools. That should give you the machine window. So click on that one. Click on new. And this new machine, I'm going to call it, say, I'm going to make it a domain controller one. And then it's a version 2022. So I'm going to keep it 2022. Uh, say, maybe I'll say win 2022. Let's see if that works. So you don't have to really choose anything in particular, but if you want, you can definitely go ahead and choose at least the closest one. Just say Windows Server 2019 maybe. And then uh, hit next. And as I said, two megabytes would be the bare minimum. So I'm gonna move it up to say four. Okay, so there we go, 4096, hit next. Uh, I'm gonna go with the default options for the next couple hard disks VDI then dynamically allocated here I'm gonna make it 64 okay so that's a double than the minimum required that that we saw and hit create so now it created an environment for us where I can 
I can install the Windows Server 2022. Now what you can do from here, go to your setting, go to the storage and here what you can do, you can add an optical disk. So here let's try to add from here. So actually let's do it from, go back here and click on this tiny little icon. So that should bring up this box. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to download. And this is the ISO file, file that I have downloaded. I'm going to click OK and then choose. So that will put the ISO file in here. So what I'll do in here, I'm going to click and remove this empty attachment. So if you see anything, any other days that is empty, just get rid of it. It will, it, it will create some problems when you try to install. So what you see in my storage is the VDI that, that we created, that is 64 gigs, actual size is 2 megabytes, it's dynamically allocated, and we have the ISO file that we have attached. Okay, hit OK. Well, before we do that, let's go to the system, and uh, we provided the RAM as 4 uh, four gigs, go to the processor, instead of 1 CPU, I want to give it 2 CPUs, so 2 processor core just to make it a little bit faster so now at this time i'm good i'm now at this time i'm just going to go and go ahead and click the start button and if we click that one it should start the installation of my system and let's see what happens and it's over here so but what happened is it's, it's bring up this window. So if you don't see it here, just go down there and make sure that, you know, you can get to this other window, uh, that virtual box like popped up. Now in here, uh, English, English, US is good. I hit next. And in that, at this time, I'm gonna just install this. And it should be similar if you're familiar with the uh, Windows Server 12. 16 19 or any of those installation it should be very simple so i'm going to go ahead and use the windows server 2022 standard evaluation that is what i would like to use hit next and in this i have to accept the license hit next and this time i'm not upgrading anything so i'm going to choose the custom installation uh, go with the default and hit next and it should go through this installation files and then it will have the system available to me. So I'm just gonna pause the video for a second and uh, if you are installing and following, feel free to pause the video as well. And once you're done, just come back and restart. Uh, I'm back and what happened, it just got it installed and it just restarted this uh, virtual box and it's just uh, restarting the whole machine. So hopefully you are with me now. Uh, it took probably about three minutes, I would say. And uh, uh, it's now in a getting ready phase and let's see how long it takes to uh, get to the next phase of the installation. Okay, it's going through some further processing and it says press any key. And now we see the very familiar Windows icon right there, even in our Windows Server 2022 edition. And there we go. So now starts the customization for your 2022 installation, just like Windows 16, if you are familiar with it, it looks exactly the same. Your username is the administrator is the first username and you gotta use a password which that meets some password complexity so try to use some uh, numbers some special characters and make it maybe 10 or 12 characters i don't recall how many but i i use usually 12 or 14 character for any password that i use so i'm gonna go go ahead and use a strong password and then do the same and hit finish and it will finalize and there we go so now i have a working copy of windows server 2022 now to get into this particular server you have to click on Control alt and delete and there is no good way to do that if you do that from a windows machine you are probably going to lock yourself out so you go to the input go to keyboard 
and then click on this insert control all there just click on that button it will give you an option so we'll provide the password and then hit enter and that is going to lock you into this particular windows server now notice that this server that i have just logged in i am really logged in as a, as a local user so because i have not created a domain so just because i'm logging into a windows server it doesn't mean that i'm uh, the the administrator is a is a domain account it is not it's still a local account and this is the initial page let me make it really a little bit bigger so now it's got some nice pop-ups try managing servers with windows admin center okay windows admin center brings together new and familiar features in one browser based app it runs on a server or a pc and there's no additional cost beyond your windows licenses that's interesting i'm just not gonna worry about this one just close this one for now so what you see right now okay uh, by default the files and storage services that's a role got installed and that's about it i have nothing else uh, let me take a quick look at the network so you can see what kind of network i got uh, we can go to the ethernet go to the change adapter setting go to the ethernet and properties and then ipv4 and it's right now it's getting the ip address automatically for a server you probably would like to set it up manually and make it static and also for the dns you want to use your own dns so but we'll do that in the next lab for now this is good and i'm going to check the connectivity to the internet if i have any ping say google.com and i do uh, notice one thing as well uh, if I go back and go to the setting, a uh, virtual box when it creates a network, it it creates a NAT network by default, which isolates your your guest operating system, which is your Windows Server 2022. But it does keep the network connectivity. That means internet connectivity is still maintains. Okay, so that's about it. We have now installed a uh, windows server 2022 successfully in our environment in the next video what i would like you to do create couple more copies of this server and then finalize setting our lab and from there we're going to go ahead and and create the active directory or or install the active directory domain services role okay so let's see you guys in the next video have fun and thanks for watching